hi well good, good day everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel today we are discussing about the additives used for the primary cementing job before we look at the primary cementing job additives let's look at what kind of scenarios we can have in the oil well so in the oil well when we are cementing we might end up with a very high pressure zone uh, over pressure zone and which might come to the surface and create problem for us so there are chances that we might end up with over pressure zone or we might there's a chance we might end up with a weak formation so whatever cement you are injecting can go here then there's a chance that we are dealing with a very high temperature so if there's a very high temperature your cement goes down do not move just solidifies there then your cement is gone you you know you end up with plugging the well rather than you know doing the proper cementing job then there's a chance that you have a fresh water formations nearby near the well board so so if you have fresh water if you have weak formations if you have you know very high pressure gas channels so there are a lot of things that you need to look at it so when you do do at the cementing when you do the primary cementing job at the surface you might need different properties but as you go down you might need different properties so i'm what properties i'm looking for i'm basically talking about the thickening time the retard and uh, the you know viscosity and so on we'll discuss them so there's a chance of loss circulation also and there's chance that once the cement is set it loses its properties and might create micro channels or something so there's a big chance that you know cement loses its, its, its strength and falls down and you know it does not uh, holds the casing properly tight so these are the the problems uh, we might encounter when we do the oil well cementing job so how we can solve them we have we need the additives so once we have those additives we can really solve these problems and so on so for example if you have the very over pressure formation weak formation density is the parameter that you can work on to to control those and once you have the temperature issue when you have a very high temperature so thickening time can be lowered so in this case you need additives like accelerators and retarders to change the thickening time else you know as high temperature and as we go down temperature is different so because of those change in temperature we need these kind of additives and if you are dealing with uh, very high permeable formation fract formation so you need fluid loss control agents in this case again if there's a mud contamination there are other issues the hole was not cleaned properly then you need to change the rheology gelling agent or so on and there's a big loss circulation zones like total fracking you need loss circulation zones and so on so you need all these parameters and you need additives to control those parameters for example density thickening time fluid stability and so on as we go ahead the what kind of properties we are looking for primary cementing job we are looking for thickening time we are looking for density we are looking for friction we are looking for the fluid losses we are looking for the loss circulation resistance compressive strength st strength retrogression means if you lose it the cement loses its strength over time or any contraction or substantial let's look at it what is the thickening time thickening time covers the time over which the cement can be manipulated after mixing with water in simple words cement is not dried again and it's become hardened again so on so thickening time is the one when you inject put the water and till it becomes hard again with that water okay so sometimes uh, we use it to reduce the rig time we want to you know dry it faster we want cement to dry it faster so we want to re reduce weight on the rig okay then we want uh, reduce chance for fluid gas flow so once it is you know settled at fast as possible then there's very less chance for gas to flow so we want to control this one and sometimes when you are uh, in in a deeper uh, well for example you are in a deeper well okay and you are now injecting the cement here in this part in this part and probably this is 5000 feet is a deep well 5000 feet so if you have a well like this and you are you know cementing a 5000 feet so here maybe temperature is very high and also you need time for the cement to move from here th from this place to this place so once the cement is moving from top to bottom it needs time we don't want it to settle down here, so we need to change its properties so we need we want to change its thickening time setting times so how this is affected it's affected by temperature change in temperature change in pressure you know what kind of class of cement you are using what kind of placing method you are using 
okay what is the additives you are using so it, it can change all of it okay so this is the thing then another thing is the accelerators what's the data so these are the uh, you can see here accelerators and retarders can help us to change this thickening time what we are talking about accelerators means they will reduce the thickening time for example earlier the cement was set and dried in three hours now it can do it in two hours maybe so you edit some additive and it, you can settle down the additive in two hours same like now if you are uh, doing the cementing job in deeper well you want higher thick uh, thickening time so you want to have higher thickening time here you can see so edit you edit some additives and after that you you see that thickening time has increased here it means the time to require to settle the cement is, is more right now so usually it is used for squeeze and cement places you know very high temperature and intermediate production casing so in shallow casing and conductor pipe we need to dry it very fast so we can proceed with the drilling so when we have very low temperature normal shallow formation we can use uh, accelerators when we want to delay we want to go down deeper to cement we can use the retarders and so on and then we have to look at the rheology and uh, for example because if the viscosity is reduced friction is reduced you will not need a lot of pressure at the surface you can move the cement very fast cement is very heavy and uh, if it is highly friction it has a very high viscosity and friction you will need a lot of pressure pressure means the higher pump activity means lot of electricity so you can increase the cost so if you reduce the friction reduce the viscosity your cost of pumping will be reduced and you know you can save some money in case you have loss circulation going on so loss circulation means loss of those cement inside those formations so you might you know end up with the loss of cement inside and create mo further problem and formation damage inside so we don't want this in this case we want to okay so uh, we will use the loss circulation material to solve this kind of problems so what are the standard accelerators and retarders we have so accelerators the common we have is salt simple sodium chloride and calcium chloride salt the, uh, this is the one we use for accelerator accelerator means surface casing or conductor pipe so these with low temperature so you can use this one to increase so accelerate the setting time so will you can set it faster so this is the one person use of calcium chloride and three person uh, use of sodium chloride you can see at this temperature 90 degree the how the thickening time has changed for three of them this is the original this is with one person and this is with three percent and as three percent sodium chloride you can see the thickening time is reduced before you needed five hours to settle that one now you need three hours to settle and dry that cement once you added the sodium chloride in this one and the what are the common uh, retarders means when you are deeper in well so you might end up you need to increase the thickening time you don't want cement to set earlier even it is not at the right place and it is just you know uh, settled before that so in this case we have this lignosulfates these are the standard uh, retarders that we use uh, or the acid carboxylic acids we use them so these are the very common standard additives that we use for the st the accelerator and retarders as a dispersant for friction reducers we have so much standard available we have sulfonates we have sodium polynaphthalene we have polymers we have organic polymer we have lignosulfate so we have all this stuff to disperse as i said if you reduce the friction reduce the viscosity pumping pressure it will be less required you know and you can save the cost as well as you will avoid fracturing the formations and so on so how they work basically they adsorb around the cement particle and they do not let them get closer so th there will be less friction between those items and so on then we have some further additives which are used for the cementing for example if you want to reduce the permeability of the settle one you use the bentonite and uh, if you want to reduce the the throat size inside the cement you can use the micro silica so it depends where are wherever you are using and what kind of additives you are looking for so these were the additives uh, general additives uh, that are used for the primary cementing job now we'll look at the main problems during cementing operations and in the next video we'll talk all about it for now please like this channel support this channel uh, so that I can continue working and uh, publishing nice videos on 
the oil and gas concepts.